first thing I do is get rid of all the paper. Nice little box to throw all your zip ties, styrofoam, all that. First thing I noticed too, guys, is it comes with some decent tires. Kenda tires are pretty good. So that's a plus. Cranks. Not feeling the cranks. Sprocket. Not feeling the sprocket. It's super small. This is the size sprocket that, you know, usually comes on like a, a little 20 inch bike. Not sure why it's on uh, this 24, but let me show you my sprocket over here or chain ring. You see how big that is. This is my little 24 inch. I use this for the, oh, not the car. I use this for the pump track and um, my buddy, he bought this for the pump track. He has a fast ripper that he's been using for the, for the pump track, but he wants something a little smaller. So he bought this right here. Stay strong. Stay strong. Comes with uh, size 24, 2.3 tires, so they're, they're they're nice and nice and wide. Good for the pump track. But the parts kind of iffy on this bike. And um, another thing I, I noticed right away was uh, the down tube, it's a little short. It's a little short. Um, forgot what size this is, but I don't think it's the XL. So this bike is on the small side. Whenever you're taller, you're gonna wanna get a XL version. Okay, that means your top tube is long. It's longer. It'll fit you better. has the V-brakes that go underneath. Nice color. I like the color. Ooh, thought it had a chip in it already. Ooh, nice grips. Grips are super nice. It's like a little mushroom grip. I like these grips. They're nice and long. The bars look good too. Uh, the brakes, non-name brand brakes. They're not any name. Well, it says a name there, but never heard of that. Artec? Never heard of that, but. Stay strong bars. These bars are pretty hefty. They feel pretty solid. Here's the seat. Seat guys, super cheap. This seat is super cheap. It's light, but this is like, this is like Walmart material. But all this stuff can be changed. It's not a big deal. Um, 
the stem. I don't know about the stem. Stay strong, major 24. This is a small bike. Once I get it all built up, I'll put it next to the Flovel. And uh, looks like we have scratches on this thing. Oh no, it's not scratch. Once we get um, get it put together, we'll put it next to the Flovel and see how uh, how it looks. But I just don't like the thinness of the down tube and the top tube. If you look over here, like this SC Flovel, super solid, thick, ready to jump. It looked good. <clears throat> so, the chain, pretty basic chain. Super tight already. I don't know why they tighten it so tight. I'm gonna have to loosen that up. Good lord. Yep, got a scratch there. If my bike came scratched, I'd be pissed. I mean, it's a little scratch, but... Yeah. When you pay for something, you just don't want it. You want to scratch it yourself. You don't want someone else to scratch it, you know? So we're going to get this thing put together. We got the box of pedals. Let's see how these look. Comes with front brakes, which I'm not gonna use them. Reflectors. Pedals are super, super basic. They're plastic. Kind of small on, on the small side too. Huh. Hmm. Okay. All right. Let's get started. Another thing I noticed is if you look, see if I get my light. If you look at these bearings, they're not sealed. So over time, you might have to replace those bearings because you know they might get wet, whatever. The dust and all that crap might have a problem there. If you look over here, completely sealed sealed up no water no debris is ever getting in those hubs uh, these brakes I never have good luck adjusting these um, I don't have any bikes that have these brakes actually I do the wild man the wild man has these brakes but it was such a pain in the ass for me to adjust those because I've never adjusted them before. So he's gonna have to take this down to Minifee Bikes and get these bad boys adjusted because I don't know how to, I mean, I know how to, yeah, I'm not messing with these. I tried before and I was just like, I'm done. But 
Yeah, I'm not messing with these brakes. He's gonna have to get those fixed or adjusted or whatever. But um, we're almost done. We got pedals, um, handlebars, and that's pretty much it. So we'll see. some red devil for them pedals that way they don't seize up a little bit goes a lot uh a little bit goes a long way with this stuff you don't need a, you don't need a bunch but i would definitely upgrade these pedals because i feel like i could snap them in half and they don't even have like a left and right usually they have a a, a left right here or on the end, oh, there it is right there. So this is the left. Definitely need to upgrade these pedals. Party all the time, party all the That's it, y'all. The Kenda, wait, the Kenda, the major, stay strong, 24 inch BMX bike, right there. Not a bad bike. I mean, it, you know, it is what it is. Uh, it has cheap parts on it. 
compared to SE, it has cheap parts. Like um, the brakes are super basic, the stem super basic, the seat super super duper basic. Seat clamp horrible. Um, what else? I don't know what the deal is with the with the sprocket. Um, I don't know the gearing. I really didn't look up the bike. I just, you know, took it out of the box, put it together. But this is a Stay Strong Major 24 inch. The Kenna tires are nice, nice tires. Pedals gotta go, the cranks gotta go. Um, but the thing is guys, once you upgrade, like you can upgrade everything on this bike, but once you do that, you might as well have just bought like a name brand, reputable company bike you know it doesn't have to be se it could be s and m it could be um gt any of those reputable names you know once you hook this bike up and do everything to it you could have just bought an uh you know something that's good straight out of the box but stay strong i've never heard of that <clears throat> never heard of that bike but um i think I forgot where he got it from, but it was, it was a well-known website. I'm gonna cut the video. I'm gonna find out like more of the technical specs of this bike. All right, y'all. So this is basically the freestyle version of the Stay Strong, not the race version. So the top tube is 20 inches, and on a race version bike which is my Flovo Flyer. This one's 22 inches. So that makes a big difference if you're a big dude, big rider, because this bike's gonna feel super small. And um, yeah, uh, I wouldn't upgrade anything on this bike. I just ride it how it is, because once you upgrade everything, you could have bought one of these complete same color they have them on the internet right now for you know they're available for let's see I believe they were 500 yeah so same basically it's the same color 24 inch 549 so once you like upgrade cranks pedals seat stem you know and make this thing pretty much solid you probably could have bought one of these for 549 because this costs 300 bucks 315 bucks for an extra 200 you could have got something straight out of the box, solid. So, but it's a whole different bike. This is a freestyle bike. That's a race bike. It's up to you. You know what, whatever you want to do. But this is uh, actually smaller than this 24. For me, this is super comfortable at the pump track. On this, I don't know how comfortable it would be, depending on what si how you know how tall you are or whatever. But for me, this would probably be too small for me to ride at the pump track and be comfortable. You know, I, I ride Chell's 20 inch at the pump track and it just feels sketchy to me. So this is the Stay Strong. Not a bad bike, but it comes with some seriously cheap parts on it. Kenda tires are great. Bars seem pretty good. Grips are nice love these grips but uh other than that that's it stay strong major 24 no brakes y'all no brakes Drop off.
Paul. Feels solid, guys. Not making no noise. Pretty smooth. Not bad. Just got some cheap parts on it. Free wheel, got that little tick. Got a little free wheel tick. That's it. Stay strong major. 24 freestyle. Late.